Paris-Roubaix, a 250 kilometer test of strength, endurance, and sheer willpower. A race that pushes riders to their very limits and often beyond. I'm Mitch Stocker, and Paris-Roubaix is my favorite race. I did it 11 times in my pro career, but now GCN have sent me back here to recon the course and meet up with some of the current pros along the way to find out the secrets to riding and perhaps even winning this iconic race. We're coming into Wallaires, which in my eyes is the first key point of the race. In all my years riding Paris-Roubaix, I found that practicing riding the route is one of the best ways to prepare for the race. I've called in my old teammate, Jens Kukulair, who I've shared many a recon mission with. Hey, here he is. Hi. Hello, man. What are you doing here? <laughs> Back in the old place, let's do it. Bit of Roubaix. Have a coffee. I reckon. It's good to be home. Jens is a strong classics rider with a fast finishing kick. He came sixth at Paris-Roubaix in 2015 and he loves this race. We were teammates at Orica Green Edge for several years and we were reunited for the final part of my career at EF Pro Cycling. Well Jens, mate, where are we? Where, what is this place? It brings back good memories being here. This is uh, the chateau, the castle that we always stayed at with Orica Greenwich mm. um, when we did the recon. So the week leading up to Paris Roubaix, we always stayed here. You and me stayed here a little bit longer because we always did some extra recons. Um, but yeah, it's true, it's a, a trip down memory lane here. All right, Enzi, what is the toughest sector for you in Paris Roubaix? I think that's easy, Armer. Yeah. It's, um, a, there's, there's a lot of difficult sectors but when you hit Arambad it's yeah it's just something different I think um, if we do it today I won't be riding it all, all the way to the finish you just <laughs> you're just scared that the wheels are gonna break or your bike is gonna break it's it's so hard um, so yeah definitely Arambad. What makes a good Roubaix rider what's the thing that you know builds up to be a really good Roubaix rider is it all physical is it mental what are those attributes? I think, yeah, first of all, you just have to be really strong. I think never has there been a winner that, that won it by accident. Mm. Uh, I think the, the strongest, one of the strongest always wins. And, uh, and second, like, I really think you have to know how to ride the cobbles. Like, uh, you have to be able to see where you go on the cobbles. You have to feel in the cornering as well. It's always a little bit different. So. Um, yeah, really feeling comfortable on the cobbles. I think that's a, that's a big, big, big one as well. Should we go out and get back into it? Old style, get I'm behind ready. the motos and... I'm ready. Oh, let's do it then. I'm looking Good. forward to it. Feels good to be back on the old roads, Yenzi. Yeah. When you just get to this area here, it all feels like Roubaix, doesn't it? it? Takes you right back to it. So I live really close to the to the border with France. Even on training, I can I can ride to France. And as soon as you cross the border, that whole region here, you just feel like okay, this is Paris Roubaix. The roads, the little towns, the speed bumps, everything. Like everything. Yeah. It just, just feels like it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like all there's the sector? Autumn, uh, this sector, yeah. yeah, I like this one. Yeah. This, this is something that changed a lot for me. Like, I remember the first reverse I did as a professional. This was always one of the key sectors because, yeah, a lot could already happen on this sector. And there was always something that happened here. So this was an important sector if you wanted to be in the front. Uh... The biggest 
biggest difference you'll notice between recon and a race, whether you're on cobbles or on a climb, is the speed and the lack of vision. If you think about it, in Roubaix, you are almost never going over the cobbles alone with a clear line of sight. You need to learn how to feel the sectors and to be able to ride them at high speed while basically blind. It can be scary. There you go, mate. Yeah. It's still there. Still here. <laughs> on race day, all the cobble sectors start blurring into one. But when you see the old mine on your left, you know what's coming next. In the 50s, race director Jacques Godet decided the race was becoming too easy. It needed more difficult cobbles. Jean Sablinski, a top pro of the era, and a local who had worked at the mine underneath the forest suggested including the Arenberg Trench. 2,300 metres of the roughest, toughest cobblestones imaginable. And the rest is history. Oh. What do you reckon, Jens? Should we hit it? Arenberg. I'm afraid I don't have the right bike set up today, but you were flying on those cobblestones. Good luck, buddy. Oh, mate, come you. on. I'll see you another time. Oh, mate, don't leave me. <laughs> My next stop is another place of real significance. It's where history was made, not just in Roubaix, but in the whole sport of cycling. Well, here we are at Honang, another tough sector, but this one's newly become iconic because it's the first sector of the very first women's Paru Bay in 2021. I'm going to be joined by Amber van der Holst, who's ridden both editions, and we're going to tackle this one together. Amber is a Dutch cyclist who competes on both the road and the track. She's well suited to the Cobble Classics and has a fast finish. One to watch out for Roubaix in the future, that's for sure. Oh, here she comes. She's coming in hot. Oh, here she is. Hey. Hey. Emma. Hi. Great to see you. Yeah, nice to be here. It's a bit cold. Yeah, this is a bit of wind. It's nice, like the atmosphere you get already here. <laughs> <laughs> it's really. When you arrived here and you came to this sector, this was the first sector of the first edition. It was wet that day, a little yeah. bit like today, maybe even worse. What was the feeling like in the peloton? Nervosity was so high. Oh, I still feel it at that moment. It just was a sprint to be in the front. It was like almost, for me, it was the finish of the race because it can happen, especially yeah. with, uh, with yeah. the mud and everything. You need to be in the front because you don't know what's going to happen if your materials hold or the people in front of you can crash. And yeah, the moment was here. What about these stones, these big cobblestones? They're very iconic. After doing the, your, your two editions, do you love Roubaix or do you actually hate it? No, I love it. You do? Yeah, yeah I really. I, it's high on my list to, oh, I really, every year I hope to race this, uh, this race. It's, it's special, also the crowd yeah. around the cobbles and family is always standing here to shout to me. And it's, yeah, it's special. It's, it's, you never know what's going to happen and who's going to win. There are so many circumstances that can change the race. It's, yeah, I hope I can end well in the future here. Do you think you're suited to Paris-Roubaix? After riding it for a couple of years, do you think it suits you? Every race I finished here, I'm like, damn, I want to win this race. I think it's, it's flat, but hard and still technical. So, and of course, the, the finish in Velodrome, I'm mm. also a track rider, mm. so it's, yeah, I hope to win here. Well, yeah. let's get some more practice yeah, in. Yeah, for sure, let's go. In the first ever Women's Paris Bay in 2021, British star Lizzie Dignan 
attacked on the very first cobblestone sector here in Honang. She rode solo for over 80 kilometers and left the entire peloton trailing in her wake. It was the most epic way to celebrate the first women's Paris-Roubaix. Probably felt like this race day, all wet and slippery, didn't it? Oh yeah, really it was. And also you couldn't go to the side of the road, so you need to stay on the cobbles. Do you practice training on the cobbles? No, never actually. No. It's just go and don't think. <laughs> what do the rest of the girls in the team think about Roubaix or in the peloton? Um, a lot of girls prefer not to ride this race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You love it or you hate it. All right. What do you think is the hardest sector for you? What is the, the hardest one? I think for sure this one is one of the hardest. I think this is the moment where you see everyone is good or not. And I think Carol 4, it's the end of the race. Yeah, those two. What about in the first edition? Lizzie died in attack there and she won the race from there. Like, can you even imagine that? Were you there to see it? I was there in the front, but she disappeared. And I heard on the radio she was gone and the whole race on her on herself it's yeah it's amazing what about like i'm trying to learn how to win paris roubaix you said yourself you want to win this race if you can imagine the best scenario for you to win what's the dream for you to win this race Ooh, uh, try to save a lot of energy in the race but still make the race hard and i hope to ride the fellow drum in with a small group and then um, make it off in the, in the sprint. What would you do? Would you lead it out? Would you come from behind with all your track experience? Mm, I would say high and 200 meters. Straight down, yeah, straight, straight in front. Go, go, go. Straight across yeah. the line. Thank you very much. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. I've got to head on my way to Roubaix. Good luck to there. Thanks for meeting me today. I see you maybe in Roubaix. See you bye later. Bye. The lesson I'm taking from here is, who dares, wins. Lizzie Dugden took a huge risk by attacking so early, and it paid off big time. Seize the day. You'll never know what might happen. Yo! There he is. Good to see you, man. Florin is a local boy, one of the few pros who live near Roubaix. He's the French national champion, and he's always one of the favourites when it comes to Roubaix. So I've got plenty to pick his brains about. So Florian, these are your home roads. What was it like growing up with Roubaix in your backyard? Like as a small boy, having Paris Roubaix right here where you grew up. Yeah, when I am young, I go here with my friend and uh, we imagine some uh, dreams. Imagine you do Paris Roubaix one time or you do Paris Roubaix with a quick step team, but it's maybe 15 years ago. I already did eight times Paris Roubaix, and every time I am disappointed because I'm not in the podium or I'm not won. What do you find is the most difficult sector of Paris Roubaix? Ah, it's a good question because, okay, Arambert is hard because the covers is very, very shit. But for me, it depends the win. If you have a crosswind after one corner, example Carrefour de l'Arbre, Mont saint yeah. you have some echelon in the covers. Plus the hill at the end, you know? The, the, the Mont saint Yeah, the small yeah, hill. Yeah. So for me, the, the hard sector is Mont saint -Pével. What makes a good rider for Roubaix? Is it the strength, the legs? Is it the, the mentality? Ah, you need to be, uh, if you, if you have a 60 kilo, uh, yeah, 65 kilo, it's, 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 no, it's no easy. You need to be good position back on the saddle. You need to have also strong body, uh, legs, but also the, the arms, the, the heart, all the body. The lungs, everything. And for sure, good uh, concentration and good uh, technique. I think also you have to love the race too. You really have to love oh, yeah, the for cobbles. Sure. Uh, for sure, I love this race because 
when I want to be professional riders, it's because I watch every, every time I go on the road for watch Paris Roubaix. Yeah. And 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 that is because I want to do professional cycling because I love Paris Roubaix. And also, when I am young, I am non climber, not super good sprinter, but I am strong only on the covers. It's been awesome being with you today. But I think this journey, I've always wanted to arrive at the Roubaix Velodrome on my own. So, if you think you can keep up, good luck. I know, come good. on, Mitch. The final few sectors on the run into the Velodrome are nowhere near as severe as Arenberg, Monzen, Pavel, or Carrefour de Labra. But with over 200 kilometres in the legs, they're still going to sting. This is it, the last hill, the last little rise in Roubaix, last chance to attack. Feels good to be here. Velodrome's around the corner. I've made it, the iconic Roubaix Velodrome. Some seriously incredible moments have happened right here. Feels good to be here. There's so much that goes into winning this race. You need the legs and the head, and you need the team to support you. And you definitely need a bit of luck. It all goes into making this, in my opinion, the best bike race on the planet, and one I'll be tuning in to watch for sure. We've got every kilometre live on demand on GCN+, Plus, so go and check it out, and let me know in the comments which riders you think are going to win this time round.